In this video, I'll break down how to add some really cool camera shake transitions to your videos in Final Cut Pro. Now, we're using the camera shake preset pack from my store, WinkinsMedia.com. The link is down in the description below. I'll first break down how to actually go ahead and install it and how to use these really easy drag and drop transitions. So once you purchase the pack, what you want to do is you want to head over here to go click on home and then you want to head over here to the movies folder and then open up the motion templates folder now when you purchase it it should come in a zip file all you have to do is just simply unzip the file and it should just have a folder and then all you want to do is you want to drag that folder into your titles folder so if i open up the titles folder as you can see camera shakes right here and I open up the folder here are all the camera shakes so it comes with a total of 20 shakes so these are just really easy drag and drop uh, transitions so as you can see here are the clips that I'll be using these are just from the Polo G uh, music video so as you can see this is what the before looks like now I'm going to show you how to add these really cool transitions so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit just so we can kind of see the two clips now what you want to do is you want to head over here to your titles and generators folder and you want to scroll down until you find the category camera shakes so as you can see if I scroll down there are a total of 20 shakes so these are really easy to use so what you can do is you can kind of hover over them and kind of get a general idea of what they look like so you can see I can kind of hover over them with my mouse to kind of get a general idea of what they look like so what you want to do is let's say you want to use camera use uh, the camera shake 6 all you want to do is hover your mouse over it and then just simply drag it onto your timeline like so. Now what I would recommend doing is having a couple frames of the over, of the actual like title plugin to be overlapping on the first clip and you can go ahead and place the rest. You don't necessarily have to do that so you can see like I can also just place it right here so it perfectly lines up with the clip too. But in my opinion overlapping it a little bit just makes the transition look a lot better. So if I go ahead and just zoom out a little bit. As you can see, this is what the transition look like. looks like. So see, there you go. You have this really cool like camera shake. So we go ahead and let's just disable it. So here is the before, and then here is the after. As you can see, it adds a whole bunch of really cool shake. And there you go, just as simple as that. Now let's say you don't necessarily want so I go frame by frame, you can see it has this flash. You can actually select on the title plugin, head over to this icon, and then just disable the flash. So if you don't want any flash, you can go ahead and just do that and you just wait for a uh, final cut to render. So if I go ahead and play the clip, this is what it looks like with the flash disabled. So there you go, just as simple as that. So again, you can either enable or disable the flash. And let's say you don't necessarily like that one, just select it and then delete it. And you can go ahead and let's say like shake 12, you can place it and go ahead and figure out you know, exactly where you want the title plugin to be. And then it's as simple as that. And again, as you see, you go to the flash and you can disable the flash if you don't like it. So we go ahead and play the clip right here. As you can see, now you have this really cool shake. So that's shake 12. Let's go ahead and select on one more. If we just click on like shake five and see what this looks like again, overlap it a little bit. Just you know, in my, just in my opinion, I think it looks a lot better when it's kind of overlapped. And we can go ahead and play the clip one more time. So here's the third one. As you can see, it just adds these really cool like dynamic shakes to your videos. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, I think shake five looks really good. So there you go. Just as simple as that easy drag and drop um, title plugin so and remember it's not a transition it's a title plugin so you want to make sure you place it in your actual titles folder not your transitions folder I know that might be a little bit confusing but I just feel like it looks a lot better when it's a title plugin because that we don't have to like have an adjustment layer and apply the shake so it's just a really cool uh, effect there you go so it's just a title plugin no adjustment layers you don't have, any, have to have any motion blur plugin or any flash it's all included into one plugin so uh, hopefully this you know Hopefully you really like this really cool plugin. I personally think it looks really good. So again, here's a really cool camera shake transition. And that's how you use my really cool camera shake preset pack. Hopefully you really enjoy it. I think these overall look really good. So again, let me know down in the comments below what you think of these really cool presets. And if you enjoy watching these types of videos, I encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and check out my website if you're looking for some other cool uh, plugins for Final Cut Pro. See you in the next one. Peace.